going to do um, the shoulder as well as the leg front and back both okay so first we are going to do the trapezius okay you see this muscle right here which was like a collar and it turned in front a little bit that was clavo trapezius okay so this is clavo trapezius this is acromio trapezius because it is attaching to the acromion process and this is spino trapezius because it is attaching to the it is attaching to the spine. spine okay why it is called trapezius if you put it all together and you look at the shape of the muscle do you see how it is in the shape of a trapezoid that is why it's called trapezius okay so this is trapezoid but it is in three parts unlike humans which only have it as one trapezoid muscle but here this muscle is divided into three parts clavotrapezius right here spine uh, acromion trapezius very good and spinal trapezius cats are sweet okay so clavotrapezius C A for acromio trapezius S for spinal trapezius so C A S cats are sweet okay the other muscle that you are going to see here is your latissimus dorsi okay this muscle right here is your latissimus dorsi and it is kind of like the bat, bat wing. You see how big it is? It is going all the way here. You can see it, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a big muscle. Okay? Latissimus dorsi. Now, now that we are over here, let's do the rhomboids as well. Now for the rhomboids, you will have to hold the paws of the cat, move the head out and hold it like, uh, hold that, bring the legs closer so these separate out. Okay. Now over here, I'm going to show you the rhomboids. You see this muscle right here? Like a brisket, right? This is rhomboids. These are rhomboids or rhomboideus. Now the longest one, which is this one, it is called rhomboideus capitus. Why? Because it is going to the caput. What is caput? Head. So when you move this, uh, you should be able to see the head moving. Oopsie. The head moving. Okay, so this one is your what? Rhomboidus capitus. Rhomboidus capitus, okay. So we are going to do some kind of a, what is it called? The, the cosmetic surgery here. Okay, so that is rhomboidus capitus. Capitus, okay. It goes to the caput. And how do you know that? Because when you are pulling it, then the skin moves a little bit and that gives you an idea. The other muscles that we are going to look at are on scapula. Now, this is the spine no. right here. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is the, um, the acromion process, and the acromion process is attached to the spine. Spinous process of the scapula, remember? Remember how on the humans there is spinous process which expands? and becomes a chromian process. Okay. So this is the spinous process right here. And the muscle above it is supraspinatus. And the muscle below it, and you will have to lift the this muscle. This is going to be infraspinatus. Right here, you see that? 
this is infraspinatus. Supraspinatus above the spine, infraspinatus below the spine, but not the vertebral, vertebral column spine. This is the spine of scapula, okay? Above and below. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Then, do you see this muscle like a sling? Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you see this muscle? Can you see this muscle? Okay. Here, at the inferior angle of the scapula, this and this. Mm -hmm. This muscle is your teres major. Teres major. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Now, on the scapula, on the inner side, hold that again, please, for me. Okay. You see this muscle right here? On the inner side, this is subscapularis. This right here? Is subscapularis. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is all of the muscle which is kind of on the back side of the shoulders. Now we are going to start the back side of the arm. Then after that we are going to do the front okay. of the of the uh, leg front leg front anterior of the front leg and the posterior of the front leg of the cat okay i wouldn't call it arm arm mm -hmm. so now we are going to do that okay so let's turn it over? no 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 leave it that way and let's look at it from here okay now we are going to look at the deltoids, right? Mm -hmm. So the deltoid in the cat, it has three parts to it, just like the trapezius, right? Mm -hmm. And over here, we are going to see the deltoid is going to be the top one. Can you stretch that for me, please? Okay. You see this, this right here? Mm -hmm. This is your... Clavodeltoid. Clavodeltoid. And we already covered that in the Isn't chest it? muscle, remember? Mm -hmm. When we were doing the front and we did clavotrapezius, then we did um, what is below it, which mm -hmm. is? Which one was it? Antibrachial. Pecto antibrachialis, and then there was a pectoralis. Major. Major, and then minor, and then the zephy humoralis. So we are seeing that same one, <coughs> clavodeltoid, and now we, now we are going to trace the other parts of it as well. So this is clavodeltoid. You see this right here? Mm -hmm. hmm? yes. This right here is acromiodeltoid. Why? Because it is coming and attaching to the acromion process right here. So this is acromiodeltoid. Kind of like a triangular, if you mark the outlines of it, right? Mm -hmm. So this is your acromion deltoid. And then you have right here, this is spinodeltoid because it is coming and attaching to the spine. Which spine? Spine of the scapula. So it is attaching to the spinous process of the scapula. So these three, CAS, clavodeltoid, acromiodeltoid, spinodeltoid, which means Cats are sweet. You can use the same thing over here too, just like you used it on the mm -hmm. trapezius. Okay, then we have the triceps. Now, in humans, triceps has is one muscle, but it has three heads. That is why it's called triceps, right? In cats, it is three muscle. So this is triceps longus. Okay. okay. Just like in humans, we have this tricep, right? Mm -hmm. Longus. It is this one, triceps longus. Okay. Then this one right here is your triceps lateralis. And basically it is called brachii. So triceps brachii lateralis, triceps brachii 
longus. You can see longus from both sides, mm -hmm. front and back. So they can ask you this question from the front as well. And then when I move this, do you see this mm -hmm. muscle right here? Mm -hmm. This is your tricep, brachii, intermedius. Or, uh, sorry, medialis. Triceps, brachii, medialis, okay? So this is triceps, brachii, long. brachii longus, triceps, brachii, lateralis, and triceps, brachii, medialis, okay? In the middle of the two, medialis. That is going to take care of all the triceps. Now this muscle, right here, you see this muscle, mm -hmm. which is right in front of the acromiodeltoid. This is acromiodeltoid, right? Right? Mm -hmm. This triangular muscle, acromiodeltoid, right in front of it, this muscle. This is your brachialis, and brachialis is present on the posterior side of the arm. Okay, the anterior side, which is right here, you are going to find biceps. Okay, so a lot of times people or students, they mess this up and call this biceps. Okay. Biceps is not on this side. Posterior is the brachialis. Yeah, so on the inner side, this is where the biceps is for the cat, okay? This right here is the brachialis. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go over it. Go over it. This is going. You are going to look for deltoid, <coughs> then triceps, and then brachialis. So, clavodeltoid, acromiodeltoid, right here, and this is your spinodeltoid. This is your triceps, triceps, brachii, longus. Very good. This one. Triceps, brachialis, lateral. Lateralis, very good. And this? Triceps, medialis, medialis, medialis. Very good. So triceps, brachii, medialis, and then you have got just brachialis. Okay. Now, let's turn the cat so I can show you the front. Oh, uh, just a minute. Let me see. Oh, I did not show you this muscle, which is? Levator scapulae ventralis, this muscle right here. You see, it is present right behind the acromial deltoid. So, in front of acromial deltoid on the arm is brachialis, behind acromial deltoid is this muscle which is going obliquely. Do you see this? This is called levator scapulae ventralis. Levator because it elevates. It's, it elevates the shoulder. That is levator. That is why it's called levator. Scapulae because it is attached to the scapula. Okay, levator, scapulae, and ventralis. So, this is the muscle right here. Okay? Yes. Any questions so far? No. Okay. Um, now, let's... Turn the cat. And let me go over the front. So the front of the arm, we are going to look at this right here. You see this dark colored muscle? Mm -hmm. It is very thin, like a ribbon. This is epitrochlearis. It is dark and ribbon-like, okay? Epitrochlearis. Then you have biceps, brachii, longus. And where is that going to be? That is right here. So when you move the pectoantibrachialis away, then you can see underneath it. You see this muscle? at the upper margin of the upper arm. 
right here, not at the lower margin, because at the lower margin we have triceps, brachii, longus. So here the upper margin is going to be what? Biceps, brachii, longus, okay? Biceps, brachii, longus, okay? It's the upper one. And then, of course, the clavodeltoid, you can look at it from the front as well. This one was, remember? Clavodeltoid. Clavodeltoid. And this was the pectoantibrachialis, remember? Uh -huh. That we talked about. And then, of course, your other muscles of the chest, we talked about it earlier. And this is your latissimus dorsi from the front, and this is your biceps, triceps, triceps brachii, brachii longus from the front. Okay. So these are all the muscles for the shoulder and the arm from front and back. Is that clear? Yes. yes. Any questions? Good. So we are done.